Hey guys, what's up? English Guru welcomes you on my YouTube channel. Let us start the class with our three mantras. First, I can learn English and I will. Second, the more listening, the better speaking. And third, practice is the key. थूक दाने को इंग्लिश में कहते हैं स्पिटुन पलंग पलंग को इंग्लिश में कहते हैं बैडस्टेड ये ट्रेडिशनल बैडस्टेड है दिस इज ट्रेडिशनल बैडस्टेड ये कंटेनर है जो मिल्क के लिए यूज होता है मिल्क पॉट दिस इज कॉप वेब दिस इज स्पिनिंग व्ही This is also a spinning wheel, charkha. Kulhadi, X. This is carboy. This is also called a carboy. These are canisters. This is a cauldron. This is an, an iron. This is a mirror. ये अंगारा होता है और इसको इंग्लिश में हम कहते हैं सिंडर इसे हम इंग्लिश में कहते हैं सेक दीज आर नीडल्स नीडल दिस इज फ्लेग सुराही This is churner. Churner. This is also called churner. ये तकिया होता है एक तरह का This is bolster. This is lantern. Lantern. This is called pincers. थूक दाने को इंग्लिश में कहते हैं spittoon. पलंग पलंग को इंग्लिश में कहते हैं बैडस्टेड ये ट्रेडिशनल बैडस्टेड है दिस इज ट्रेडिशनल बैडस्टेड ये कंटेनर है जो मिल्क के लिए यूज होता है मिल्क पॉट दिस इज कॉप वेब दिस इज स्पिनिंग व्हील दिस इज आल्सो अ स्पिनिंग व्हील चरखा कुल्हाड़ी एक्स दिस इज कार्बॉय दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड अ कार्बॉय दीज आर कैनिस्टर्स दिस इज अ कॉल ड्रॉन दिस इज एन एन आयरन This is a mirror. ये अंगारा होता है और इसको इंग्लिश में हम कहते हैं सिंडर इसे हम इंग्लिश में कहते हैं सेक दीज आर नीडल्स नीडल दिस इज फ्लेग सुराही दिस इज चर्नर Churner. This is also called churner. ये तकिया होता है एक तरह का This is bolster. This is lantern. Lantern. This is called pincers. Pin. Hello. Hi. Do you speak English? Yes. Where are you from? I am from France. My name is Rosie. What's your name? I am Jenny. Are you new here? Yes. I have not seen you before. Yes, I just arrived yesterday. I hope you can understand my English. I am still learning. Yes, I can understand you. You speak very clearly. Do you come from a big family? Quite big. I have three brothers and one sister. I am the oldest. It must be difficult coming so far away from your family. Yes, but I am always 
wanted to meet and travel people from other countries. Do you like it here? Yes, I'm very excited to be here. How long have you been here? One week. When and where were you born? I was born in 1981 in Paris. Are you married? Yes, I am married. What do you do for work? I am a teacher. How about you? I am a computer engineer. Do you know what time it is? Sure. It is 8.10 a.m. What did you say? I said it is 8.10 a.m. Thank you. Now I have to go. You are welcome. Let us do over idioms and phrases section. So, the first idiom is once in a blue moon. And the meaning is something that happens very rarely. Something that happens very rarely. And the sentence is the earthquakes hit once in a blue moon in this part of the earth. The sentence is the earthquake hit once in a blue moon in this part of the earth. Our next idiom is beating around the bush. Beating around the bush. And the meaning is avoiding the main topic. And the sentence is the teacher asked Joseph to come to the point instead of beating around the bush. Next is cry over spilled milk. Cry over spilled, spilled milk. And the meaning is complaining about a loss or failure from the past. The sentence is he was mad because he couldn't get admission due to a silly mistake. But then he realized there was no use crying over spilled milk and decided to become more careful. Next idiom is spill the beans and the meaning is to disclose the secret. Chabbi aap kisi secret ko disclose kar dete when you reveal some secret. The sentence is the little one spilled the beans about the surprise vacation we had planned. Trust her to spill the beans she never could keep a secret. So next is piece of a cake. And the meaning of this piece of a cake is something that is easy to understand or do. Remember, this is very common. Something that is easy to understand or do. The sentence is, I thought that the problem would be tough, but it turned out to be a piece of cake. Next is, to put in a nutshell. And the meaning is, to say in a few words or to make something concise. Kisi bhi cheez ko chota karke bolna. Using as few words as possible. Jitna kam ho sakke, utna kam shabdo mein kisi bhi cheez ko jo na summarize karna. Sentence is, the textbook development committee decided to put the 30 pages chapter in a nutshell to help save time for students during revision. This is the idiom here. Break the ice. The meaning is to initiate a social conversation or interaction. The meaning is to initiate a social conversation or interaction. Social conversation or interaction ke liye initiate karna. And the sentence is at the start of the lecture, the new professor tried to break the ice by telling a joke. Here is the next idiom. C I to I. C eye to eye and the meaning is be in full agreement. This means agreeing with someone they finally see agreeing with someone. They finally saw eye to eye on the business deal. This was the sentence. The next sentence is my mom and I don't see eye to eye on politics. So we discuss other things. This is all about the idioms. Thank you.